Hello there, welcome back to the channel. If you haven't already, please give us a like and a subscribe. So this video is gonna be about um, sealing your wood or not sealing your wood when you're doing a resin pour. Lots and lots of uh, arguments going on about this on Facebook. We're gonna find out uh, reasonably scientifically <laughs> which one is better. So what I'm gonna do, I've got a bit of walnut and I've chopped it into four bits and we're going to try sealing the wood and then sanding it up um, to uh, so that the resin bonds to it then we're going to try uh, sealing the wood um, and then just pouring it on the B stage which is just when the seal, the seal coat is tacky then we're going to try no seal at all and then we're going to try one with holes in it so we make little resin dowels so out of the four which one do you think is going to be the strongest? Now, not really bothered about bubbles at the moment because that's another issue coming into it. Lots of people are saying, well, you're going to get bubbles, rah, 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 so you need to seal. So we're not really interested in that at the moment. What we're interested in is strength. So which one out of those four do you think will be the strongest? Right, and what I'm going to do is hopefully uh, make some kind of... Uh, um, uh, experiment to put weights on them or bend them or something like that to see which one is the strongest. Mouth, then. Look at that. Beautiful, isn't it? We're not really bothered about how it looks, or we're just bothered about how well it performs at the moment. So that's why it's just knocked up the way it is. We've got seal and dry, we've got seal and B stage, we've got no seal at all, and we've got no seal and dowel. Obviously, this is extremely scientific. <laughs> But it'll give us some idea. Next thing to do is get it in the pouring room. Get pouring. resin mixed up for the pour on this now um, I put some blue in there because a I like the color <laughs> and uh, B most people put 
a colour or a pigment in their resin when they're doing something like this. So I thought it'd be a truer representation of what's going on. Right, so we're back into the uh, normal workshop, the dirty workshop as I call it for this one, to break it out because um, the pouring room is full of stuff that actually pays me some money. We're going to break them out and I'm not quite sure how I'm going to, not quite sure how I'm going to test them yet, but I have got this, oh, the setup I mean, I've got this uh, hanging scale so that has give us some idea in kilograms or whatever it is, um, of how much they can take. Um, so I'll break them out and then uh, I'll come up with some rigging, some kind of thing to, to test how strong they are. So here we are then outside ready to test. I'll give you a quick run through of what I've set up. Um, you need to remember it's just a strength test. We're gonna be doing our strength test in kilograms. I'll show you that in a second, but we're just working out the differences between the four different ways of bonding your resin to your wood. So over here we have a little setup with a couple of cramps. Um, I've put the piece in here pretty much along the crack so hopefully um, or where I think it's going to crack so hopefully we get good separation and not just from the resin and the wood and not just cracking on the resin itself or the wood itself. There's a strap uh, linked to a cramp. I think that's going to be strong enough. This strap is for strapping cars down. It'll take about a ton, uh, so it should be plenty. That is connected to our scale that's being used to test how much stress that's going to put on it in kilograms. That is also connected to a strap there. So it's a ratchet strap, so I'll be able to pull that gently until we get the breaking point. I'll have a camera on the meter there as well looking down at that so hopefully we'll be able to get precisely when that uh, when that breaks. Hopefully this whole setup uh, works quite well. I think I've uh, I think I've done it in a way that's going to be reasonably uh, consistent throughout the floor throughout the four. So we'll get on with it and uh, We'll see what happens. So it's the first one then. Um, this is seal and dry. This is uh, when you seal when you seal the wood with resin, dry it off completely. Wait for it to dry completely, and then scuff up and pour. Uh, sorry about the camera angles. Um, I've got them in the best position, I think, to see what happens. So it should be fun. So let's find out. <laughs> move on to the next. Next one's in and set up now. It, this is the um, seal and pouring at the B stage. Okay, so that is when you seal your wood, but you wait until the it's tacky and then pour your main pour. Okay, so we'll see how this one gets on. <laughs> that definitely lasted longer than the last one. It's fun this. Okay this is number three then. 
so this is just plain pouring it in, no seal at all. We'll see how this one gets on. I've also cramped down my uh, other camera a little bit, so hopefully that won't uh, won't go flying off again. <laughs> So number four then, uh, this is no seal but uh, holes drilled in to make uh, resin dowels in the wood. Um, I was expecting this one to be the strongest, this is why I left it till last but I'm not so sure now. A um, bit, bit kerfuffled about this to be honest with you but we'll see how this one goes now. very long tool. Well I've got to say that was enlightening. Um, here are the results. So the sealing dry uh, managed 87 kilograms, the B stage 189 kilograms, the no seal at all 113 kilograms and the no seal and dowel at 77.5 kilograms. These are all estimates. You can go back and have a look at the video and um, see for yourselves, but they're about the averages that I got. I've got to say, I'm really surprised. Um, the one that I thought that was gonna be the strongest, which was the seal and dowel, no seal and dowel, actually did the worst. I was wrong about which one I thought um, uh, was the worst when I was doing it. Um, I thought that the no seal at all was the worst and it actually came third, uh, sorry, second. But most surprising is the difference between the lot of them because, you know, between 77.5 kilograms to 189 kilograms, I mean, that's, that's a difference of over 100 kilograms. And, and when, I was, when I was doing it, I, actually, I really felt, you know, how, how much tougher it was to break. You know, we can argue all day about the way that they separated, you know, because that does come into it. I'm not, you know, I'm, this isn't a 100% reliable test, obviously, but it, like I said at the beginning of the video, it gives us some idea which one is the best to do. This is the B stage one, and this is the one that did the best. So my results, if you want the best bond between uh, wood and resin, it's uh, B stage. But well, hopefully that gives you some idea. Uh, if you've got any other ideas, drop them down in the comments. Uh, you can tell me what I did wrong, what I did right, I don't mind. That's it for now, so uh, just, just surprised about that one. We'll see you next time. Anyway, goodbye.